how to save presets with Logic Pro X. I'll show you how you can save presets on different instruments you'd like to use later, and also presets that you can use with different plugins like reverb or EQ or delay that you wanna use for future projects down the line. I'll first start with presets on instruments, then I'll go with presets on plugins, and then I'll show you how you can delete these presets on instruments and plugins as well. Here I am in a Logic session where I'm gonna start by showing you how to add a preset on an instrument or a sample that you'd like to use in future projects. This is also, this is really popular for drum kits or maybe synth sounds where you're really tuning a synth to your desired sound and you wanna save that for future use or you found a nice bass sound or you found a sweet kick. Let's start from scratch quickly to add a new software instrument and I'm gonna load up the contact library by um, switching my instrument on the left here and then going to, um, I'm just gonna use complete control and I'm gonna load up a, let's, let's say we come across a nice kick sound uh, where we wanna use. So let's just find something decent here. Scroll through the kicks. Um, actually, let's scroll through the kick samples here. Wow, that's aggressive. It's kind of nice. So here's the kick um, audio wave, and we can go even into the effects and change the effects here if we want to add some bits or um, add some overdrive. And let's say we really, really like this kit now, let's save it. So what we do is go to the top here where it says manual and uh, drop down, save as, and this will open up a finder window. And it's nice to take note of where um, the trail of the breadcrumbs of the um, file is. So we're, we're coming from library to audio to presets, native instruments, complete control, and then you have a folder here. Where I'll do my kick example. And now that's saved as an, a kick inside that preset under um, complete control. So if we delete this track and we start a new software instrument track, we want to load up uh, that kick in a new project, let's say, for example. Um, we can open up uh, complete control. We'll have to open up complete control to kind of load that in. So you can see here, I can even have this closed. When you click this little arrow here, um, you can see it pop up when I hover over top here, that's gonna load up the presets on this side. And so that has, I have two presets under contact here. I have my kick example that we just used and then a songwriting kick. Double click on my kick example, and then here we are ready to go with a kick example. So that's how you add presets to instruments. It's the exact same way to do it if you have a piano or you have whatever, synth. Um, we can do quickly to, to do a synth, new software instrument. Let's load up Alchemy and then choose a lead synth, industrial, complex. Let's do this synth. Let's say we change a bunch of crap here. This could sound terrible. I'm not gonna listen to it. But let's say we really like this synth, save as. And you notice it pretty much is the same path, but instead of contact, it goes to alchemy. And then we'll say my synth example, save, cool. So we can now in future projects, if we want to add my synth example, we go new software instrument, load up alchemy. Same thing, hover over the top here, and then you will have your synth, my synth example here, where you will have that synth. So that's how you add presets to instruments. The next thing, valuable way to add presets are on plugins. So let's continue with my synth example and let's add a reverb, a space designer reverb, where we want, let's start with a um, kind of large clean room but we're gonna change the pre-delay, the size, the wetness and the dryness and the spread. Maybe we're gonna even knock off the decay a bit actually. We really like this one. Same exact thing, go up here, save as, and we will say um, my synth reverb example. And 
more or less the same path. See, it's coming down here to audio and music apps, plugin settings, space designer. So here you can see we have all our plugins in folders. Space designer example. So with your my synth reverb example, if we shut this down and delete this track and then start from scratch again, or let's say we want to add this the synth on uh, my synth reverb example on this mellow lead synth, we can do that. It's not going to be over here in the alchemy. If we press this, that's going to give us the preset instruments to this alchemy synth. We're going to want to go into the plugin itself and you'll be able to choose the preset within this drop down menu here where you will have my synth reverb example and these two other presets that are available. So you would click that and then it would load up the preset synth reverb example that you have. And that's how you add plugins. That's how you add presets and logic on plugins. And it's the same exact approach and principle when you want to go and add a plugin on delay or um, any any filter plugins that you have, any plugins. This can, over time, your presets on plugins and instruments can really add up and start to get messy. So you're gonna wanna delete them sometime. How to delete presets from Logic? Uh, we will actually want to go to the folder path in our finder window and just clean them up that way. So how we would do that is, let's go to a new finder window. So we'll do command N to a new finder window. We'll go at the top here under go and click option. This will open up library. Under library, we will go to audio. We will go to presets and then the um, choose the instruments under the folder. So for example, I use contact, which is under native instruments, complete control. And then you have my kick example. Simple as right click, move to trash. So that's going to be gone now uh, and the, for plugins it's more or less the same thing but it's not under library plugins are under music um, music I believe you know music audio music apps and then plugin settings and so here are all our plugin settings we're going to want to go to the plugin that we added the a preset to in our case it was the space designer there it is space designer and then we have presets here my synth reverb example right click move to trash that's how to add presets to logic for instruments and plugins let me know if you have any questions in the comments happy to help answer all the comments and feel free to listen to some of my music we'd love to know what you think of it hope to see you in the next video